Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel Val here and today we are doing another beautiful cheat day because I sure need one. Today I'm doing a little bit of a theme which is comfort foods. So if you didn't know, started university like two and a half weeks ago, almost three weeks ago and I've just been a little stressed lately, hence the comfort foods. Today we have pancakes. I haven't had pancakes in forever, like way too long. So I was really wanting some pancakes and also I haven't had these in forever, which these are my favorite. These cheese danishes, they are so good. Let's start with a bite of these pancakes. So they're apple cinnamon pancakes. Mm. Oh, they're heavenly. This recipe is so good. So I'm gonna leave the link down in the description box and I highly encourage you to make these. They're a bit of a pain in the ass just cause I think they took me, wow, I started making this at eight o'clock and it's 9.22. So they did take a long time to make, so maybe save this for a weekend, but I think they're worth it. So I'm gonna leave the description or the recipe, link to the recipe below. Cross section of the pancakes. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> so they have apples in them, and we top them with apples. So good. Definitely making those again. Yeah, we have like massive, massive bag of apples. My friend Kristen and I went apple picking. We still have so many apples that we need to do something with, so hence the apple, apple pancakes. But yeah, those were very good. I would highly recommend making them. The recipe said that says that they make 13 or 14 pancakes. That is a lie. They made six. So don't think that if you make the whole recipe, you're gonna be feeding like your family of 12. Like, no, that was just for Kyle and I. Okay, Danish. Oh, these are so good. Since I haven't had one of these in a long time, it tastes like a million percent better. So good. Want a bite? Very good. Mm -hmm. This one was like in the cinnamon juice. It's actually really good. There's foods that just like warm your heart, fill your stomach, and make you so happy. Danishes for me are one of them. Last bite. Mm. Yum. Best breakfast ever. It's so good. So I am going to head to Starbucks to study and then hit the gym before heading back for some lunch. Also, let me know what your comfort foods are. Like what is something that brings you joy? Like when you put it in your mouth hole, what brings you joy? Uh, let me know. Let's get to the studying and I will see you later. dark in here. I'm in my spare room. Um, yeah, I lost my tripod. I have a tripod that like has bendable 
legs, I guess. And I lost it. I don't know where I put it. I have the camera balancing on some pencils. So <laughs> just my like pencil stash. Maybe you'll fall. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited for lunch. Comfort food of choice is some pot pies. Is there anything more warming to your soul than a pot pie? Didn't think so. <laughs> um, I thought I was getting chicken pot pies. Um, but after I bought them, I realized they're actually like a minced meat type of pot pie. It's not meat, it's vegetarian. But I definitely thought it was um, chicken. So actually these look just as good now that I've cooked them up. I got this also from the vegetarian store. It's a Philly cheesesteak <laughs> burrito, I guess. Yeah, so it's a vegan cheesesteak. This is the most bland looking lunch I ever did see. Let's dig in. The crust is so flaky. <gasps> So that's what the middle looks like. Yeah, it's like a minced meat. I'm gonna let that cool. <laughs> Maybe this won't burn my entire mouth. Mm. So here's what that looks like. Hmm, it's okay. Something tastes off, like it doesn't really taste like meat which it's vegan, so I guess it's not supposed to. It just tastes a little off. Not super impressed, but I'm still gonna give it another shot here. It's the meat, it has like a weird taste. I don't like it, but it was expensive, so I'm gonna eat it anyway. <laughs> uh. that actually got better as I kept eating it. So I don't know if it was actually getting better or if I was just lowering my expectations with every bite. I don't know, that was weird. Mm-hmm, mm it's good. So now that I've started filming and this is already almost over, I feel like I should get some sort of like YouTube setup. Like for when I'm filming stuff like this, look how ugly that background is. <laughs> Just a door. So maybe I should like get a pretty setup with my like cactus. That would be really nice. I feel like that would make me a little bit more official. <laughs> maybe I'm gonna do that in the next few weeks. Yeah, I'm not very aesthetic. I can't match. I can't like coordinate things. I'm not good at it. but I do always like when YouTubers have like a cute backdrop, you know? So, that's what it looks like. It's got like a weird meaty soy texture. I don't mind it. So even though that wasn't like a chicken pot pie like I was really hoping for, it was still really good. And actually that crust like warmed, warmed my insides. <laughs> but that was a solid meal. I would get those meat pies again actually, like they were really good. Uh, I already think I know what I want for supper. So I'm just gonna wait a bit and then I'll put in my order for that. For now, back to studying. <laughs> Okay, so I've only been studying for like hour and 40 minutes, but I'm just like, 
a little brain dead right now. So I'm gonna go get my dessert. <laughs> so I got one of my favorite ice creams. Ben and Jerry's peanut butter and cookies, the non-dairy. This ice cream is so good. I swear, Ben and Jerry's is just like more topping than ice cream itself, so it's my kind of thing. So I'm gonna take a little break uh, and watch a YouTuber that I have been really loving lately. Her name's Katherine Mueller, I think. I think that's how you say her last name, Katherine Mueller. She does a lot of like legging reviews. She calls people out and is not afraid to like tell you whether a legging is overpriced and not worth your money and you're paying for complete garbage. So I'm gonna watch some of her while I enjoy this ice cream and just <sighs> chill before I go back into the studying. <laughs> these peanut butter hunks. Like, that's crazy. That was like a solid tablespoon of peanut butter right there. Ice cream makes me so happy. <laughs> this whole tub just went straight to my heart and filled up with happiness. I am, mm, I just love ice cream so much. It's probably my favorite, my favorite dessert ever. So, yum. Um, okay, that should do me for a little bit. I'm gonna finish this legging review that I'm watching. Just let the ice cream settle in. See you for supper. Okay. Hello, Marino. Hi, could I put an order in for um, a medium three topping for pickup? Sure, what do I got it? Could I get mushrooms, black olives, and do you guys have roasted red peppers? So, uh, sorry, uh, mushrooms, uh, black olives, and what? And roasted red peppers. That's everything. Okay, thank you. My name is Okay, thanks so much. Yeah, you are. Bye. Bye. Marino. I'm gonna go pick up that pizza and I'm getting pretty tired so I'm gonna call it a night like my brain is just <laughs> so let's go pick up our veggie pizza Marina You can hear the dishwasher. I turned it on. My bad. <laughs> but oh yeah, yeah, what a good day. Um, bras off, makeup's off, pajamas on. I'm so cozy right now, and like this pizza is looking so good, and it smells incredible. So as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, we have some black olives, mushrooms, and roasted red peppers. Yeah, roasted red peppers. So, it looks so good. I hope it's not too cold. No, it's good. Um, I was gonna go for Little Caesars, but I actually really, really like trying new places and uh, places that are more local and a little more hands-on with their pizza and don't just get like mass orders of dough or stuff like that. So I tried this place, three minutes from my house. It had an Italian name and uh, the guy was super nice, so how could I not try it? And yeah, so we're gonna give this a go and I think I'm gonna watch a movie while I eat this pizza because I'm so cozy, I just can't not, you know? But I'll try it first and let you know how it is with this beautiful dipping sauce. Yeah, I've never tried this place before. Marinos, Marinos. Oh, it smells really good. Mmm. This is really good. They definitely top with Parmesan. I don't know if I've ever had a, a pizza with roasted red peppers. It's actually freaking phenomenal. Mmm. I feel like it takes a lot 
for pizza to impress me because like how much better can you make pizza it's already so good but this is so impressive i think this might be my new favorite place i'm gonna have to tell kyle about it because he is a fanatic about pizza it's incredible okay so i am gonna dig into the rest of this pizza enjoy it and watch i'm not sure <laughs> Maybe a movie. Yeah, time lapse in three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna leave those three pieces. I'm just quite full and satisfied, so I'm gonna wrap that up and save it for another day. But thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm gonna cut it off here and probably, probably just go to bed. I'm so tired. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys, each and every one of you. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and you want some more. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.